welcome students we are studying unit photochemistry and the topic is types of photochemical reactions five major types of photochemical reactions we will be studying they are photo oxidation photo reduction photo addition photo isomerization and photo dissociation so today we will be studying photo dissociation reaction now let us first understand what is the meaning of photo dissociation it is the process which occurs when a molecule on absorbing a quantum of light energy undergoes dissociation to smaller molecules radicals or atoms or we can say photo dissociation is a chemical reaction in which a chemical compound is broken down by photons it is defined as the interaction of one or more photons with one target molecule a very simple example is propenone undergoes photo dissociation to methyl radicals and carbon monoxide now let's begin with the introduction part in the excited state the nuclei are more weakly bound than in the ground state therefore the molecule may get easily dissociated on absorption of a quantum of radiational energy the direct dissociation of a molecule becomes very probable when the energy absorbed is equal to or more than the bond dissociation energy when the molecule dissociates from an excited state it is called photolysis in such a case it is possible that at least one of the atoms is in its excited state any excess energy will appear as kinetic energy of the fragment the excess potential and kinetic energies may impart increased chemical activity to the photofragmented particles the energy states of the product particles can be predicted with the help of symmetry correlation rules these rules are the symmetry of the product must correlate with that of the reactants in setting up the reactant product symmetry correlation rules it is not possible to leave a lower energy state of the given symmetry uncorrelated and the energy state of the same symmetry do not cross the most important processes of photo dissociation are gas phase photolysis chemical laser photo dissociation of oxygen formation of smog etc so here mainly we'll be discussing gas phase photolysis the gas phase photolysis of halogens and their acids was studied extensively the halogens and halogen acids absorb light in the visible and near ultraviolet regions associated largely with n x to sigma star r x type transition where r may be a halogen atom or a hydrogen atom the transition promotes a non bonding electron localized on the halogen atom x to an anti bonding energy level of the molecule r x now let us study few examples of gas phase 
photolysis. So the first example is irradiation of gaseous mixture of H2 and Cl2. Let us study this reaction step by step. There are mainly three steps in this reaction. They are chain initiation, chain propagation and chain termination. So let us study them one by one. You can see all the reactions written for the three different steps. In the first step, chlorine molecule on irradiation in gas phase dissociates into two homogeneous chlorine radicals and this is chain initiation. In the chain propagation step, chlorine free radical takes one hydrogen from H2 gas and forms HCl and a hydrogen free radical. In the next step, hydrogen free radical reacts with chlorine molecule and forms HCl and chlorine free radical. Then comes the chain termination step. Termination of the chains of this reaction is very sensitive to experimental conditions. If atoms are removed by wall effects or by inhibiting molecules such as O2 present in the system, rate of reaction varies directly as the intensity of radiation I. The termination of the chain by bimolecular atomic recombination is associated with a third molecule to remove excess energy. So you can see this in the chain termination steps. Here the rate of the reaction varies in as under root I. Now let us study one more example that is a reaction between I2 and H2. No photo reaction occurs between I2 and H2 because of the poor reactivity of iodine atoms as the reaction of I2 and H2 is endothermic and thus no chain reaction is possible. On the other hand, the quantum yield for photo decomposition of HI phi HI is equal to 2. Now let us study the mechanism of this reaction. In the primary process, a molecule of hydrogen iodide absorbs light and dissociates to form hydrogen free radical and iodine free radical. So you can see the first equation written here on this slide. The primary process has been established from spectroscopic studies. The possible 
secondary reactions are as follows. So all the possible secondary reactions are written here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are all the possible secondary reactions. So have a look. The reaction 2 is endothermic and thus it cannot take place at ordinary temperatures. Reactions 3 and 5 are highly exothermic reactions. The heat produced in these reactions is so high that the products formed in these reactions undergo dissociations. Thus the occurrence of reactions 3 and 5 is highly unlikely. So now if we eliminate reactions 2nd, 3rd and 5th, the reactions 1st and 4th are the only two likely secondary reactions. On this basis, the overall process can be written as first is we will write the primary process Hi plus H nu gives hydrogen free radical and iodine free radical then secondary process, hydrogen free radical plus HI gives H2 plus iodine free radical. And third one is also secondary process, combination of two iodine free radicals gives iodine molecule. And the overall process, that is two HI plus H nu gives H2 plus I2. Thus two molecules of hydrogen iodide can undergo dissociation by absorbing one quanta only. Thus the quantum efficiency of the reaction is 2 which has been found experimentally. Now let us study one more reaction that is the reaction of iodine molecule. The photoreaction of I2 molecules by a suitable wavelength generates one iodine atom in the ground state and one in the excited state. So you can see the equation I2 in presence of light forms I in the ground state plus I star that is I in the excited state. The excited I star has more energy to abstract hydrogen atom from propane in gas phase reactions. So here you can see the reaction. Iodine in the excited state plus propane gives HI plus free radical. One more example we can see photoreaction of SO alkanes. In the vapor phase, when SO alkanes are photolyzed, dissociated into alkyl radicals and nitrogen, the reaction follows 
as CH3 and double bond NCH3 in presence of light gives 2CH3 plus N2. Similarly, reaction of HBr with olefins and acetylenes. The photoreaction of HBr to olefins and acetylenes is used to synthesize alkyl and alkenyl bromides. So we have discussed few reactions here. So today we studied photodissociation reaction and in that we studied gas phase photolysis. Thank you so much.